Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for another song tutorial. In today's session, in preparation for this year's Valentine's Day, we're going to be learning how to play a beautiful love song entitled Smoke Gets In Your Eyes by Jerome Kern and Otto Harbach. Now this tune was originally recorded for the musical Roberta in 1933, but we're going to be learning how to play the Platters version, which was recorded in 1959. So together we're going to be learning some beautiful fingerstyle techniques as I break down the chord progressions for the verse and the bridge sections. Now, real quick, I plan on breaking down a few more love songs leading up to the holiday. So in the comment section down below, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what are your favorite love songs? What are some tunes that you'd be really excited to learn? And I'll try my best to turn them into lessons. Also, if you need some extra resources, remember you can always head over to patreon.com slash with lessons. There I have tabs and chord sheets and other resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now, let's get started with a full demonstration of the tune. I want you to see what you can figure out using your ear and your own intuition, then I'm gonna break it down for you section by section. Let's get started. One, two, three, four, and... They asked me how I knew my true love was true. Okay, a close look at the fretboard, getting started breaking down our intro and verse sections. We're in standard tuning. I have a capo here on the third fret, putting us in the key of E flat major. But because we're gonna be playing around the C position, we're gonna discuss everything as if we're in the key of C major for easier learning. Okay, taking a look at our little intro section here, we're simply applying a C major chord, and we're going to implement a very basic finger picking pattern. through. Okay, so that's just A, D, double pluck on the G and B, and then back to the D string. Counting one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, from there that's going to get us into the verse section where we're going to keep picking on that C major chord. In our first line of tablature, we're gonna have the chord C major. They asked me how 
high D minor seven, new G dominant seven, my true love was back to C, true E augmented, an amazing chord change. Oh, that's F major, followed by F sharp diminished seven. And we're just gonna have different variations of the same picking pattern over each of those chords. So over the C chord, we're playing the same thing. Bring the pattern down to the floor one string for D minor seven. Then G dominant seven, E, D, double, back to D. Back to the C major chord, same thing we had before. Augment it, second fret D string, barring over the G string and B string first frets. Pluck in E, D, double D. Okay, from there we're on to an F major bar chord shape. Do the same picking pattern there. And then the same thing on F sharp diminished seven. Grabbing the second fret low E string, the first fret of the D string with a bar, and the second fret of the G string with the ring finger, making sure to get the first fret B string again with that bar. Okay, put all that together and we have one complete line of tablature and that's going to be four measures of music. Let's see if we can play and sing. They asked me how I knew my true love was C. True. Oh, 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 I of course read. All right, it's actually pretty simple to sing over top of this picking pattern because it shares a lot of the same note values. Okay, now moving on to our second half of the verse section. We're gonna play C major, A minor seven. E minor seven, G dominant seven, and then kind of a turnaround section, C. Walking down, A minor seven, D minor seven played with a jazz grip. Walking down to G seven at 13 to complete the verse. Okay, so breaking that down, the C major chord, you know what to do. All right, then A minor seven, simply remove the ring finger. D minor seven, you know how to pick that one. G dominant seven, just like we did before. All right, then the turnaround. Play the C major chord, A, D, double, second fret of the A string, walking us down, A minor seven. All right, now, a beautiful D minor seven jazz grip. I've got the fifth fret relative to the capo, third fret, fifth fret, sixth fret. All right, the A string to the B string. We're gonna play A, D, double, fourth fret low E string, walks us down to G7 at 13. Playing E string, D string, double, and letting it ring. Okay, now we put that second half of the verse together and it should sound like this. I of course replied Something dear inside Cannot be denied Walk it down. Jazz grips. Now, we can apply basically all the same stuff to verse number two, though the ending is going to be a bit different. So, we're gonna sing. They said someday you'll find G dominant seven, all who love are blind. E augmented, oh, oh, the F chord, F sharp diminished, Okay, so the first four bars of verse two are verbatim, just like verse number one, as are the next two. When your heart's on C, you must reel. D minor seven, lies. G 
G-Dominant 7, smoke it in your now. Here's where it's different. At the end of verse number two, we're gonna have a different turnaround to get us into the bridge section. It's gonna be C, F major. That was E, D, double D, back to the C chord. One and two and three and four. A C half diminished, also known as C minor seven flat five. Frets three, four, three, four. A very intense chord is going to set up a transition to a G sharp major chord, a key change getting us into the bridge section. Okay, put all that together and we have the entire second verse. Let's see if we can play it together. A one, two, three, four. And they said someday you'll find all who love are blind. Augment it. Oh, F major. Diminished. Back to C. One and two. A minor. D minor seven. G dominant seven. And that 1950s sounding kind of a uh, very typical 50s turnaround. One and two and the four chord. One. Diminished. And there's a lot of different strumming options that you can apply to that diminished chord shape there at the end. You can just play one and two, or one and two and a to get yourself into the bridge. Okay, very well done everybody. You have those verse sections down. Now we're ready to jump into the bridge section. Now coming out of the verse, we have that C to C minor seven flat five, AKA the half diminished chord. Now, of course, these chords are being implied by the lush orchestral section that uh, you can hear in the original track. So I'm doing my best to find the chords that best represent those string sections. But I'm hearing that half diminished sound and that's going to get us to G sharp major. Okay, so we're gonna take that chord, frets four, six, six, five, four, four. The thumb nice and low, pulling back with both arms, pressing your chest into the guitar, to get a nice clean bar chord sound. We're gonna be applying an eighth note strumming pattern just for ease. All right, so it sounds like this, G sharp major. So I chain the man I barely love to think they would Okay, right here, we're gonna go to the chord D sharp major, an A string rooted bar chord. Fret six, eight, eight, eight. Though, if you wanna make it more robust, try including the low E string with your index finger. Move back a half step. Then. A nice rhythm that we can hear in the original track. Okay, so we had that D sharp major chord, one and two, and brought it down, one and two, and then we're playing. Okay, so with a rhythm like that, you wanna kinda sound it out. Just get used to the rhythm, get it into your ear. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, from there, we're back to the G sharp major. The second and final line of the bridge section is gonna sound like this. But today, my love has flown away. I am with C major seven, ow. My C seven, love. G to G seven. All right, and then that chord right there is the five chord in the key of C. So, compositionally, we have successfully brought ourselves back to the key of C major, which is just so impressive. Okay, so get that final line down, take that G sharp major chord, one and two and three and four and move to F minor. First fret bar chord, third fret A string, third fret D string. Same principles apply, pulling back with both arms. One and two and. 
a G7 chord, open position. One and two and C major seven. One and two and C dominant seven. Add that first fret B string, third fret G string. One and two and then a G to G dominant seven. One and two and three and four and. Okay, from there we're back to the C major chord to start verse three, which is going to be played verbatim, just like the previous verses, minus the turnaround, because from there we're gonna be going into the outro section. Okay, before we move on, let's make sure we have the bridge section down, see if you can play it along with me. Grabbing that G sharp major chord, and remember, a quick tip. If you're having trouble singing a particular melody, one thing you can do is try to find the target notes inside the chord you're playing over top of, or the overlapping scale. Okay, in this case, we're singing, so I change. I found that note inside the chord, and if I need to practice hitting it, I can just tap that note, chave them. All right, and that's gonna help me develop my pitch. Okay, so grabbing that G sharp major, we're playing. So I chave them and I gaily laugh to think they would down my love. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, from there, we're back to the verse section. Verse number three, the final verse. The C major chord comes in, and as I mentioned, all of this is verbatim, played just like the previous verses, minus the turnaround at the end, because we're gonna use it to get to the outro section. So at the end of this verse, we're going to sing, Smoke gets in your, go back to the C chord, and start strumming. Smoke gets in your eyes, Smoke gets in your eyes. Smoke gets in your eyes. C chord, F, F minor, C. Now keep in mind I'm taking some liberties here. The ending of the original tune, or at least the Platters version, is super orchestral, very ornate. It's not something that we can fully replicate with just an acoustic guitar. So I'm changing the chords around just a little bit to give you a nice ending. Okay, but it starts off very true to the recording. So we have a C major chord. Smoke gets in your eyes. There I transition to a D minor seven flat five chord. Frets five, six, five, six, a zigzag shape. All right, so we had C, C, and half diminished. Back to the C chord. Smoke gets in your eyes. Letting that ring a G dominant seven, add 13 chord. Okay, so once again, that's frets three, three on the D, four on the J, five on the B string. Then we're gonna have four momentous strums of the D minor seven chord. Smoke gets in your, the high note G dominant seven, eyes. Then to the C major chord. One and two and F to F minor, three and four and, then the resolution back to C major. Okay, and just like that, you're ready to perform. Congrats, everybody, you have all these parts down. All right, everybody, thanks so much for checking out this Platters guitar tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and also what songs you would like to learn in celebration of this year's Valentine's Day. I wanna thank my patrons for making all my lessons possible. I hope you're enjoying those extra resources, and until next time, this is Rob coming to you from the Jersey Shore saying happy picking.